this video shows how to protect your data using the data retention utility feature with Ops Center Protector on a Hitachi Virtual Storage Platform VSP E-Series storage system and how to restore the data if the PVAL gets compromised. By enabling the data retention utility attribute on a specified volume, we can prevent reading or writing to the volume that the RAID storage system is protecting. This helps in preventing data manipulation and unauthorized access. Let's begin by creating a level 1 shadow image pair with DRU enabled on the SVAL. Then, we'll create a level 2 shadow image pair that we can use to restore the data in the unlikely scenario that the PVAL is compromised. First, let's back up our production volume by enabling DRU with the full protect attribute on a shadow image pair. Click New Data Flow, give it a name, and then click Next. Next, drag the PVAL to the whiteboard. Then, drag the storage box over the PVAL and across, creating a connection between the two nodes. Now, select the PVAL and then select the existing replication policy. Ensure that the mover type is set to batch. Next, select the storage box and replication policy. Now, create a new replication for shadow image. Maintain the default settings and then select the pool. Under the DRU protection attribute, select full protect and change the lock duration to one day. Click next until you reach the final screen and then click finish. Click finish again. When the data flow is created, we'll distribute the policy by activating the flow. We can verify the policy distribution under Jobs. Next, let's navigate to the Monitor tab and trigger the flow. This creates a backup of the volume we want to secure using a DRU-enabled shadow image pair. We can verify this under Jobs. When the pair is created, we can verify whether DRU is enabled by navigating to Storage, Storage Box, Replication, and the latest replication with the timestamp. By checking further, we can verify the DRU retention period and the pair status. By default, with Protector, the SVAL is disabled. This prevents the SVAL from being mounted on a host. Our data is backed up and secured on the DRU, SVAL until the retention period ends. We can then look up the SVAL ID under Pairs. If the PVAL is compromised by any internal or external attack, the forensic team might require access to it for analysis. So, we can break the existing L1 shadow image pair by deactivating the data flow and tearing down the replication. To do this, select Storage, Replication, and then select the Replication and Teardown. Now that our replication is broken, we can create a new block host node using the DRU SVAL. First, click on the new node and then click Host. Now, select Hitachi Block Host, give it a name, and then click Next. Next, select the Block Host device and click Next. Finally, add the DRU, SVAL ID and click Finish. We can now create a Level 2 Shadow Image Data Flow for the DRU Protected SVAL, which will act as a PVAL. First, click New Data Flow, give it a name, and then click Next. Now, drag the DRU SVAL to the whiteboard. Then, drag the storage box over it, creating a connection between the two nodes. Next, select the replication policy and create a new replication flow for shadow image. Maintain the default settings. Under the DRU protection attribute, click None. Click Next until you reach the final screen, and then click Finish. Click Finish again. When the data flow is created, we'll distribute the policy by activating the flow. We can verify the policy distribution under Jobs. Now, let's navigate to the Monitor tab and trigger the flow. 
This creates a backup of the volume we want to restore as our new PVOL. Click Run Now. Then, navigate to Jobs. Our new replication is now created. Next, let's verify our new replication pair. Select Storage, Storage Box, Replication, and drill down to see the details of the replication created with the new data flow. We can now see that the new pair doesn't have DRU protection. Let's navigate to Pairs and see the new SVOL ID. Now, let's deactivate the data flow before pausing the replication. Click Deactivate. Navigate to Storage, E990, Replication, and click Pause. When the status changes to paused, we can mount the volume by clicking Mount, Sand Mount, and then clicking Next. Now, select the host group and click Finish. Now, navigate to VMware. Under ESG Hosts, select Storage Adapters, Rescan Storage, and then select Devices. We can now see our new volume. Next, navigate to the VM, select Edit Settings, select Add a new device, and then select RDM Disk. Make sure you select the new SVOL. Click OK and click OK again. Now, navigate to the VM, select Disk Management, select Online the Disk, and then select Explore the Volume. Verify that the volume reflects the timestamp from the PVOL. In summary, the Data Retention Utility feature of Ops Center Protector provides a reliable and safe environment to prevent writing to volumes that the RAID storage system is guarding. For more information on Data Retention Utility, visit our website, www.hitachivantara.com.